Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'll explain you a bit more about having problems with mold making, so more specifically with the gel coat, because this is like the most difficult and crucial parts of your mold, because this will be the facing parts where you will make your parts out, and so your parts will have the same finish as your mold, so it's quite important to have like a good mold. Mostly while applying the gel coats, you can already see some like little flaws coming up but if you're like a bit experienced or know how to fix them you should be okay with going through all the steps and finish your mold so i'll say um if you're making small molds sometimes it's better just to restart uh, it can take some time to make some repairs uh, but like you can see here this was a big mold so i decided just to do the fixes so Everything starts with cleaning the mold. So because you use some release agents, some waxes and so on, it's very important to clean your mold. So first I use some soapy hot water and then I use the mold cleaner from Easy Composites just to remove any residue that might be left. So the way to use it is just so you put a, a piece of cloth and then you, you just like rub it in and then you clean it off again with a clean wipe. So after cleaning that mold with the mold cleaner, I usually go to sand everything because I don't want to have like fresh resin on top. So I clean everything and this is like a part that I want to fix. So what I do is I make like a little um, a dimple inside of the mold. So it's a, a recess into the, the flat area around it. I used, I just use my Dremel with a rotary tool, so this is a permagrit um, tungsten blade, I think it's carbide, um, and I just score some marks into it, so this will improve like the mechanical grip, because we're not counting on a chemical bond here, but more of a mechanical grip. So you make some grooves, and then the gel coat that we'll put on top will like seep in through these little areas and make a good grip with the rest of the bolt. So I made some cuts in, um, zero degrees and then I go into it 45 degrees just to improve a bit more um, of grip and more like surface for the gel coat to bond on. So now again we're back with the cleaning so a very important step. Um, at every point you might have some, like some silicones or something floating around with the workshop and you want to have the best possible bond with the rest of your mold. So working in a clean environment and having good preparations is important. So I tape off everything around the area that I want to fix. Also, it's quite easy if you have multiple little parts you want to fix, it will be easy to see them onto your molds while you're working in a, in a bit of a hurry because um, we will be adding a bit more MACP harder and this is very important. Um, tooling gel coats are made to bond with the layers coming on top so they will never fully cure um, in air so it's important to create like a seal above it and so this is the wax that will cause it to be sealed and fully cure so it's advised to use around two percent so i think in this cup i have 50 grams of tooling gel coat so always use the same resin that you've used while making your mold so i've added two percent so that would be about around one gram of wax and then uh, i think four percent of make p harder because these are small surfaces and i have enough time to fix everything so i mostly like to use a brush just to like dab into all the little holes um, that i've created and i just want to make like a surface that is on top of the um, surface of the rest of the mold. So I'm making it a bit higher than the rest, so I'll be able to sand it down um, while sanding it flat with the rest of the area. So just take your time, avoid having air bubbles in it. Um, I will also mention like it's not so bad to have like a few areas where you send it through your gel coat, but try to avoid having too much because mostly I found leaks through the glass fiber parts with the um, coupling coat. So this is the coupling coat behind the gel coat. So here you can see it, it's like when cured, it's like a dull finish. So it's a wax that rises to the surface, making a seal just to make sure that the gel coat will totally cure. Another option would be to use like a top coat or something, but mostly it's good to have like a good chemical and like physical bond with um, 
the rest of your mold so mostly use the same materials so don't sand too much on the same place um, your gel coats might overheat and soften creating some uh, little problems and then it's just back to sanding it all flat and just finish it again so you have like your perfect mold to start making parts out so this will be a part um, of tutorials to come so i'll be making rtm molds so this is just like a quick uh, part because i wanted to make it separately from the rest of the video so what can you expect for the coming videos if interested make sure to check them out so i'll be making the master so finish a master make a mold uh, make the first part out of it fixing the mold in other ways as well and then finishing everything with the rtm molds to produce like rapid parts with a good finish on the in and outside so here is the carbon fiber you can see and then everything to finish the second mold half that will be coming on top of that so if you like this video make sure to subscribe leave a like leave a comment if you have some questions and i hope to see you guys in the next videos thanks for watching